so here we are at the Hollywood Universal Resort. Well, not technically not the resort. We're just coming to the studios. We're going to do some rides. We're going to see some celebrities. We're going to be like smashing this mother. And we're valley parking because valley parking is for absolute champs, yeah. which is of course what we are. <laughs> on this ride. Twice here and like seven times at Florida and I haven't fit yet. And then I do. And not even the fat seat, the normal seat. And so um Harry Potter, finally, after so many years of trying to lose weight, being too fat, not been able to ride it yet, I've finally been able to get on. And it's amazing. So um it's now time to go on our very, very special VIP tour. I'm so excited about this. This is, um, well, I saw Tim Tracker do this, an AP version of it, and it looked amazing, and I wanted to do it ever since. So, um, there's our chance. VIP experience. Where we have a secret knock to get in. Was the secret knock. Hi. So they already have the clips. <laughs> yeah, complimentary. Drinks. Snacks. So we've just come into the uh, VIP lounge. It's amazing. Uh, everything is just free and it's really quiet and it's comfortable and relaxed. And um, it's ready to chill out here and wait for our tour to begin. Which is um, it's a little bit like the Glam Town tour, but it's longer and has a, a concierge, a, a personalised tour guide that brings us all the way through the tour. Exciting. The structure of our day is we're going to start in the movie studio, which has been here for a very long time. It's a real working movie studio. They're filming today on the lot, so you might see some stuff happening around us, which is great. That's about two hours long. After that happens, we're going to get dropped off down in the lower lot of our theme park. If you don't know if you've never been here before, our theme park is built on two levels. So the upper level is where we are right now. When we go down a bunch of escalators, there's three thrill rides down there. So that's where we're going to get dropped off after the tour to do those. I'm just going to leave this record on so many things. The eight years, and who's the girl with the camera? Nothing. All right, guys, so do the best that you can to sit together with your groups, because we have another group joining us, okay? So, so normally for the studio tour, we would have the, uh, the glam trams. I don't know if you can hear any of it. But for this tour, we get to have our own little bus. And the breakfast club is on. Cool is that? Heading into the movie studio, and you'll notice all of these beautiful posters on our timeline. Uh, these are here to represent just a few of our favorite films. We've done over 8,000 since being a studio here. Uh, Universal City is also a studio and a city at the same exact time. That's why we're called at Universal City. We have a, a DMV, a post office, a fire station, dry cleaners, restaurant, everything a regular city would have, except residents. Nobody actually lives here. They pretend to live here all the time, but nobody lives here. Stay quiet. We don't want him to hear us. Oh no. Oh no, I think he got, I think we, I think, oh oh. Yeah, let's just try, can we, can we move? I, uh oh. Guys, uh, he's getting really close over there. Oh man. We're actually getting to walk around the Wall of the World set. Stay out of the road! Stay out of the road! 
This is the place where um, the plane crashed on top of the house from Lord of the Worlds. The um, kind of crappy Tom Cruise film with amazing effect. It's right here. Alright guys, come on. Right over here. They go down into the basement, they have a little snack. And then in the middle of the night they hear this terrible noise. And the coolest thing about this scene is you never see the plane crash actually happen. All you see is Tom Cruise's face and his reactions to what has happened. So then they come out from around that wall right there, and this is what they see. An entire Boeing 747 airplane has crashed into his ex-wife's neighborhood. Now this so we're getting off here yeah, to somewhere which I've been through several times on the tour, but I've never stopped to walk around. I'm going to get a chance to get up close to the western set. That's our bus over my shoulder. Though. So we get off there. We go for a little wander. This is so awesome. The oldest set in Universal. Been here since the 1900s. I had no idea that we actually got to walk through these sets. I mean, you can see how, how, how popular they are with the normal studio show. But on the VIP show, you get to stop every so often and get off and look around. I don't know how much of this you can hear because of the engine eyes. Oh, it's a classic That's so cool. <laughs> so, we get sitting down, having some, some lunch, as you do, and it's a very good lunch. Oh. And look who we see. You never know who you're going to run into in the VIP lounge. I just happen to be in the neighborhood. And here we are. Oh, I'm on TV. You're look at me. I look, I'm in color, too. Okay. I'm so glad I went to the beauty parlor today. How's my hair? Is it all right? You look good in color, too, honey. Well, you know. Oh, yes, you clean up good. And here I am with my new co-star, um, Danielle. Ethel, don't be jealous. From what now? A channel? A channel on television? Oh, oh, I've heard of that YouTube business. My tube, your tube. Hello out there in YouTube on the caboose, something or other. Oh, boy! When I tell Ethel, I finally made it on television in Hollywood with Danielle, my new co-star. We'll see you on TV! This has been a Ricky Ricardo production. Da 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 da! <laughs> Boy, how fun! I really. You know, I need to, I need to introduce you to um, our host. So, this is Sarah. Hello! She's just been rocking our world all day today. Thank you, I love that review. How Get, are you? Getting us, yeah, she's awesome. <laughs> she's getting us on the rides faster than the front of line. This, this, this is the best ticket in town. Hands down, and Sarah's making it even better. <laughs> That's what I like. You're welcome. That's great, Amy. <laughs> hey, look, this is Riley. He's on the VIP tour because he's rocking it like everybody else. Yeah. There we go. Yes. What do you think of the tour, Riley? Really? Um, amazing. Isn't it good? Yes. Best way to do a universal, hands down. Thanks, Riley. Good to see you. One of the biggest changes that I found at Universal over recent years, so I said since I came here as a youngster, was just how much City Walk has changed. We've got this huge retail section now on the way between the parks and the car parks, and it's just full of merchandise. I think really good. I'm going to shop around, look at the things. So it seems they sell socks. All kinds of socks. Many, 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 many. Clap into my head. Many kinds of socks.
this really comes alive in the evening. That noise you can hear is rubber gum. The atmosphere on City Walk in the evening is just absolutely superb. I wish I could describe to you what the smell is right now, but those donuts. Oh my gosh. They smell so good. And the size of the queue for donuts kind of says it all. Awesome. So I may have mentioned that uh, it was a pretty good day. It was a pretty good day. We've got uh, some amazing food, amazing rides, amazing retail. And now we just going to wait a minute for someone to bring our car around because, you know, valley parking and all. Rude not to, to be honest. Good times.